Good morning. I'm Steve Roach, the editor of Coin World. It's Monday, and here I am with your Monday morning brief. It's National Coin Week, April 19th through April 25th. This year marks the 92nd installment of National Coin Week, which is held during the third week of April. It's a week that serves to introduce people to the hobby and groups like the American Numismatic Association and the U.S. Mint and clubs around the country plan programming and exhibits so that people can learn what makes coin collecting great. This year's theme, picked by the American Numismatic Association in a contest, is Building Tomorrows, Inspiration and Innovation at the World's Fairs. It's hard for us to imagine today what a big deal World's Fairs were and international expositions in the mid-19th century through mid-20th century. These were gigantic events which served to introduce people to new cultures, new cuisines, new people, new ideas. They were really incredible um, cultural phenomena, and they're really collectible today. Now, 2015 marks the 100th anniversary of the 1915 Panama Pacific International Exposition in San Francisco. Now, American collectors know this best for those amazing 1915S Panama Pacific Pan Pack $50 slugs, these giant commemorative coins. They're gold, one's octagonal, one's round, two different varieties. They are also incredibly expensive. They start in the mid five figures, and so most collectors are priced out of those, but thankfully, the 1915 Panama Pacific International Expo has tons of other collectibles. There is a commemorative half dollar that's silver. A little more expensive is a gold dollar, gold quarter eagle. You have tokens, medals struck on the ground, struck during it to celebrate it. You have items struck afterwards um, as mementos that people took home. Absolutely incredible range of collectibles for World's Fairs, which makes it a great um, subject for something as broad as National Coin Week. Now something that clubs do around the country is they plan exhibits, they plan lectures at libraries and schools. The U.S. Mint has lesson plans aimed at teaching people what makes coin collecting interesting. And 92nd installment, it's been pretty successful. I mean personally I went to my first American Numismatic Association summer seminar on a National Coin Week scholarship so it's been pretty meaningful for me but this week why don't you take this week to introduce someone new to the hobby and bring National Coin Week to your local community. I'm Steve thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.